Blockbuster video games are huge. They're huge in terms of uh, their scope and scale, uh, you know, levels of fidelity, fidelity of play, fidelity of visuals, fidelity of audio requires you know, a much greater depth of talent. For this game, everything is more, plus we've got a campaign. Everything in Star Wars, every different medium, it has its own voice, it has its own texture and tone and flavor, and we wanted to try and find out what that was for Battlefront. And building all of this with Lucasfilm has been, has been really, really good. We weren't expecting special forces. That's the point, Sergeant. In the lead up to The Force Awakens, we had started to develop a, a series of new um, stories to tell. The Empire just felt like a natural place to find a new voice and tell a different kind of, of Star Wars story. You know, take off the helmet, get inside and meet the people uh, inside the Empire. We like the idea of exploring what it means to go to different pockets of the galaxy and see more gray area. It provides really interesting questions and really interesting moral decisions that these characters have to make that provide deeper opportunity to explore with some of those characters. One of the big differentiators um, for Battlefront is the, is the idea that, you know, most of the time you'd be playing as a trooper or a pilot, but there are these moments where you get to become one of the iconic heroes of Star Wars. We have a great relationship with EA uh, in general, and you know we're constantly talking to them about the, the future of Star Wars and, and gaming and what that looks like and wanting to tell stories in that space. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is coming to PS4 this November 17th, and I honestly, I can't wait for everyone to jump into um, everything that DICE are doing with multiplayer, that Cracktyrion are doing with space battles, and that everything that Motive is doing with the campaign. Thank you.